How's it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how to move your iPhone storage to iCloud. This is so, so common. Oftentimes your iPhone storage is full or almost full and of course you need to clear it. So of course you go ahead here and you get iCloud Plus. You pay for the subscription, you pay for a ton of storage, but then nothing happens. Your iPhone storage is still full, and of course, that's extremely frustrating. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do that. Yes, it's possible, it's super easy to move your iPhone storage to iCloud and free up hundreds of gigabytes. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so there are actually two very easy things you can do. Number one has to do with your photos, so your photos and videos. It's super common that your photos and videos actually take up hundreds of gigabytes of your iPhone storage. In my case, for example, I have over 27,000 photos and over 4,000 videos, so over 30,000 files between photos and videos. And of course, I can go ahead and transfer and move all of those photos to iCloud, clearing hundreds of gigabytes of my iPhone storage. Let me show you. So if I go ahead here and come back to my iPhone settings and then go to general and iPhone storage, as you can see right here, my photos, my whole photo library is taking up five gigabytes of my iPhone storage. That's right, just five. That's pretty much nothing. And please consider over 30,000 photos and videos. And I can do that by simply moving those to iCloud. It's super easy to do. All you have to do here is come back and go to your name right here where it says Apple ID, and then go ahead and tap on iCloud, and then right here you have your photos. Tap there, and as you can see, all you have to do is sync this iPhone, enable this feature right here, and then, and that's the most important thing, optimize iPhone storage. So when you have sync this iPhone turned on and optimization enabled, checked, as you can see right here, you do exactly that. You have all your photos and videos, the full resolution photos and videos stored in iCloud and miniature versions of those photos and videos, so low resolution versions of those photos and videos saved on your iPhone. So as you can see right here, my whole photo library of photos and videos, they actually take up 397 hundred gigs. So 400 gigs of storage. That's my full photo library. And it's taking up my iCloud storage because as you saw, it only uses five gigabytes of my iPhone. So five gigabytes of my local iPhone storage in 400 gigabytes of iCloud. So then I moved my iPhone storage to iCloud, super, super easy. And if you're concerned about having low resolution, low quality photos on your iPhone, don't worry at all. It works super well, it works seamlessly, you don't even notice. So when you go ahead and you tap on your photos and you wanna take a look at an old photo, for example, you tap on it and then it's gonna instantly load that photo in full quality. As if you're taking a look on Instagram, for example, at a post on your friend's feed. So you tap on it, it's gonna load, and then it's gonna show you in full resolution. So you have access to all your photos, all your videos in full resolution on your iPhone, but the thing is, they are in iCloud. So we are seeing them from iCloud. It's super easy, works very well, and I super recommend that you do that. Oh, and by the way, when you enable this feature for the first time, when you tap on sync this iPhone and optimize iPhone storage, please keep in mind that it's gonna take a while to upload all those photos and videos, especially if you have a large library like myself, for example. It may take hours or days for the process to finish, and you can follow the process right here on your photos, right below there, there will be a status bar showing this uploading process. So it will not be instant, okay? First, it'll upload, and then it'll free up your iPhone storage, Please be patient. And the second tip, because as I mentioned, there are actually two things you can do uh, in order to move your iPhone storage to iCloud, has to do with iCloud Drive. So the documents, the files you save on iCloud. So not necessarily photos, videos, but actual documents and files, right? So if we tap here on Manage Account Storage, 
and it's gonna we're gonna take a look at my iCloud storage itself let it load it takes a while sometimes uh, as you can see right here my iCloud Drive is using around 50 gigs of my iCloud storage so I have around 50 gigs of documents and files that are right there in iCloud now let's take a look at how many gigs they're using of my iPhone local storage so if you come back and back and back scroll down tap on general and come back here to iPhone storage we're gonna actually need to scroll down quite a bit show all and keep scrolling keep scrolling because it's actually gonna be around here there we go iCloud Drive 38 megabytes that's right 38 megabytes so it's not using anything of my iPhone local storage and that's because I'm using the files app correctly this is very very common okay when we open up the files app generally we see this page that's the home page right here the browse page and it's so so common that a lot of people store so many files and documents right here on my iPhone and when you do that you actually store all those files and gigabytes right here on your iPhone storage and that's not a good way to do it what I recommend you to do is to save everything in iCloud Drive so as you can see right here we have the iPhone icon and of course here the iCloud icon so everything that's here in iCloud Drive is using storage from iCloud is being stored in iCloud in the cloud not on your iPhone and everything that's here on my iPhone is using storage of your iPhone of course so then my recommendation is tap here on, on my iPhone, take a look if you have tons of documents and files right here. And if you do, move everything to iCloud Drive. Let me give you an example. I'm gonna create here a folder, all right? Just a new folder, untitled folder, super easy, right? So you go ahead here and tap on any file, any folder that's right here on your iPhone, and you simply move, as you can see, and you can move to anywhere on your iCloud Drive, for example copy and then it's gonna go right there and of course afterwards you can go ahead here tap on it and delete it and then remember to come back to your recently deleted and delete the whole thing all right because otherwise it's gonna be there in your in your uh, trash so go ahead here and delete the whole thing then you're good to go so then as you can see you can simply move any files from your iPhone to your iCloud and save a lot of your storage and then that's it guys that's literally it with two very easy tips how you can move hundreds of gigabytes from your iPhone storage to your iCloud storage in this example of us 450 gigabytes it's absolutely insane all right so that's it thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video as usual guys bye bye